Hello Wargamers! Welcome to our Age of Sigmar Battle Report today. Josh and Luca will be playing 2,000 points of Skaven against the Blades of Corn as they fight in this season of war. We play and call it work. Mini Wargaming's Age of Sigmar Battle Report. Taking a look at our Blades of Corn, I'll be playing the Gortide today, even though I do have some demon elements. Gortide is just one of my, what, easy enough to remember, even though I'm going to forget it. Uh, my grand strategy will be from the General's Handbook today. It just felt fitting to do Slaughterer, uh, or sorry, Slaughter of Sorcery. And our triumph will be inspired. And uh, the leader, the general, the, the big guy right there, the bloodthirster of insensate rage. I'm trying to just, today's a, like a roulette list. So uh, the list will heavily rely on how well he decides to roll today. Now we made him the general. We gave him the firebrand command trait, which means he's a priest and he can pray. And I gave him bronze flesh. I had a hard time with the prayers. I really don't know. I like all of them. Except for Witchbane. That was good, but like very situational. Uh, artifact would be Halo of Blood, which uh, seems quite spicy. On a It was that one or no ward saves. The no ward saves is also very appealing, but I went with Halo of Blood today. Now, the rest of my leaders will be all bloodbound things. I'll have a Realm Gore Ritualist that knows Unholy Flames. And took our Nullstone Adornment, because obviously we don't have any wizards. Uh, the Nullstone Adornment won't have any effect in this game, but it's hand-carved Nullstone icon if anyone cares. Uh, we have a regular Slaughter Priest with Blood Sacrifice. And then a Blood Secrator with the Crimson Plate. We do have two artifacts of power because I am running a Warlord Battalion. A lot of characters here. And uh, I had 90 points left over, and I was thinking... Can I do an Exalted Deathbringer? I can do an Exalted Deathbringer. One of my favorite characters. I don't know why. I just like the way he looks and I like his rules, even though he doesn't really do anything for me. Moving on, I got way too much battle line options. I'm running four units of Blood Reavers. Uh, two with Meat Ripper Axes, two with their Blood Reaver Blades. The loadout, unimportant. They are there for Blood Tithe points and to uh, travel at the speed of murder. I'll be running two units of Blood Warriors. A one will be Gorax and Gorefist, and the other one's going to be running uh, a pair of Goraxes. Just to try it out, I don't, I'm pretty sure I'm like the Goraxes way more, but I like the, the gimmicky mechanic of the Gorefist. And, and it's, it's all relative, I suppose, and how it works. I have a, a couple of units of Skull Cannons to provide some fire support and, you know, a little bit more demonic entities on the battlefield. And then lastly, two units of Wrathmongers. Now, the idea here is to try and give as many extra attacks to the Bloodthirster and Sense of Rage as I can. In this case, I'm only really getting two uh, once per game, but, I mean, that could amount to a lot. And I should note I have a Wizard Finders of Antor Battalion, but that won't matter in this game. That's why I didn't really go into too many details of it. That there, folks, will be the Blades of Corn today. Let's go see what Josh is bringing. This is my Skaven list. I've played it once before, so let's try it once again. So, went all Clan Molder. This is the start of my army. Um, so, the Skaven you've seen me play in the past um, have been studio stuff, but I'm starting my own Skaven army. So, anyways, uh, all converted up here. Looking at the list itself, I have a Master Molder as the general, uh, and then he's got three Master Molder friends. There's a lot of Master Molders. It's the character I can take. Uh, so, the general is going to be a Molder Supreme. And also has a hand-carved Nullstone icon. Uh, we've, th these icons have been so effective that there's no magic anywhere on the board at all. And then I've got uh, one of the Master Molders also has the Rabbit Crown. Battle line choices, I have three reinforced units of Rat Ogres and a singular unit of Giant Rats. My Behemoth choices, I have four Help at Abominations. And uh, that's my list. I do have a Battle Regiment and a Line Breaker in there. Oh, you're going to have much less drops than I will, that's for sure. Nice. Wait, how many points do you have? 1,980. You're trying to. I'm at 90. Ooh, yeah, I'll do points. the one where I can re-roll a charge. In, it's bloodthirsty. Maybe plus one wound. Inspired? Maybe, maybe I want... Oh, oh, am I inspired or bloodthirsty? I'm inspired. Today you're inspired. That's one I chose. I don't get it, though. Ooh. Today, Josh and I battle over the mysteries of the Geomantic Pulse. This is the first mission in this season's General's Handbook. With it, we have four objectives, all right down the middle line of the table. And it'll have the players deploying opposite one another in a Dawn of War style deployment along the long table edge. 
Now, of these four objectives, all of them are going to be in no man's land. And uh, one will be A on the left, and one will be B on the right. And the rule corresponding to that is called the Pauls. Starting in the second battle round, after determining who will be the first player in that battle round, whoever's going second will either pick objective A or B to be the Pulse for that battle round. And that will set the pace for the rest of the game, as the Pulse will then move from that objective to the one adjacent to it and then to the one adjacent to that and you cannot pick one that has already been the pulse so it'll either move in a straight line left to right or right to left based on whoever's going second in the second battle round and kind of however they're feeling at that moment now the way scoring is going to work is at least one victory point for one objective uh, two victory points if you control the pulse objective and then one additional victory point for each objective that is adjacent to the current pulse and then of course two if you complete your battle tactic every turn and then five, sorry, three if you complete your grand strategy. Whoever has the most amount of victory points after five entire battle rounds will be the winner of the game. We're deployed and ready for some Sigmar action. So starting with my deployments, I'm on this side, Josh on the other side. I've got Blood Reavers, Blood Warriors, Wrathmongers, Skull Cannon, Bloodthirster in the middle, and then uh, copy paste over here, boom. Same idea. Uh, pretty pretty redundant list, I guess, in a lot of ways. Uh, a lot easier to make a list that way, I suppose. And uh, nothing in reserve. I don't really have any shenanigans like that. And this mission doesn't do anything with reserve. So what do we got on your side over here? Talking about redundant. Uh, there's a Hellpit Abomination. Uh, there's a Master Molder. Rad Ogres. Master Molder with the crown. Oh, he's behind him. There he he's is. He's behind him right there. Yeah. Uh, Hellpit. Then over here, there's a Hellpit. Yeah. And Master Molder. And some uh, rat ogres, and then the general master molder, and a hell pit, and then some rat ogres and <laughs> giant rats, and more giant rats back there. Now we actually have the uh, gnaw holes this time, so we've uh, we've encroached upon the scheme territory that is already established. <laughs> yeah, so I'm back and forth on like the gnaw hole placement, just to put that out there. I think I wanted to probably put them more on this side if I wanted to take an aggressive first turn, but I don't think I want to. I got so I'll leave them back yeah. there to potentially mess with you. This list got a lot of screening. Actually, pretty much the only thing I care about in this list is the Bloodthirster. Everything else can die and summon more things, right? I think yeah. it's more of the mindset of you want to stop me from using the gnaw holes, these guys are going to have to sit back here and kind of babysit them. Yeah. And that's less stuff that's dying, so it's less blood type points. And that's kind of... Or I can absolutely just disregard the gnaw holes. You could, and then they <laughs> sneak up and... Do things. Kill I, my stuff and give me blood tide points. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not a well thought out plan. <laughs> oh, this one, this one is j just it, they're still useful, but because all the objectives are in the middle, uh, I will be giving you some territory based battle plans, battle tactics, possibly. Yep. But uh, that is about it. You're just gonna be charging my rear and my front instead of just my front. That's okay. Blood. Blood cares not from where the corn flows. That's the thing. Uh, we're gonna figure out who's gonna. Nice gotcha. <laughs> yeah, that got me good. <laughs> we are gonna figure out who's gonna go first. Josh absolutely finished deploying his forces first. And uh, any idea who you want to go first? I mean, like, I always like going first because I'm a destruction player, but mm. like, no, I'll let you go first. Me? Well, fine. Nothing too wild on the first turn coming up. Again, the first battle round, there is no pulse yet. It'll come up on the second turn. So you can only really score up to three victory points from holding one objective and doing your battle tactic. So we're going to jump right into that. I am going to hopefully get some blood tithe points with some prayers. And uh, we're going to figure out this whole show and uh, where we go from there. And uh, that is it. So for turn one, I'll be at two command points. Josh will be at three because our generals are alive here. And I uh, just want to go over how I'm going to be keeping track of score here. This is available on the Forge, miniwargamingforge.com. There are other tools available there if you would like in many different colors or no colors at all if you'd rather paint it yourself. I have each D10 on each player side representing a different battle round. We're one, two, three, four, five in that order. I'll be player one. Josh will be player two. And that is it. And can we get a beautiful hello to Phil the Glacial Geek? I miss you, Phil. Because we were playing the current season of war, which is the nerd one, the yeah, stupid, the, the stupid idiots you're with to bring sticks wizards. and wizards and stuff. Uh, neither one of us have a wizard, so we won't bother with the primal magic dice whatsoever. And that means that Josh will not be picking the locuses for extra spell casting. Instead, you'll gain extra command points, as if that character did heroic leadership. You know what? This dude over here's got Ooh. it. Question: Do you get it for the whole battle round, or just that turn? Probably the battle. Oh, I think it's battle round because you're going second. So. Yeah, yeah. Makes, that makes sense. Anyways, only he may use it and an extra command point for them. Otherwise, I got to pick a battle tactic and an action. As for a heroic action, I will 
do a leadership on my blood secretor. Try and get that out of the way. Look how heroic he is up there. Surely his speech will be inspiring. Uh, thinking the same thing. This rat's gonna make rat noises. Oh, well, here comes squeak, the six. Squeak, 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 squeak. Oh, oh, the six. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, past that, suppose I can start this off with a surround and destroy. I need to have, be wholly within six of three different battlefield edges and with three different units, and two of those units have to be wholly outside of my territory. Luckily with this mission, the territory ends at the deployment line, so it'll be easy enough to achieve. Otherwise, I got prayers to go through. Let's do a blood sacrifice. That's this slot of priest here, who knows it? It works on, I believe, a four, but I can reroll because I'm near my altar. That is a one, Corn was not pleased. And uh, Corn is still not pleased, but he's not willing to hurt me for it. Not getting a blood tithe point right away kind of hurts. Uh, we're going to move on to this Realmscape Ritualist. She has Unholy Flames, as well as, you know, the other Bless and Protect and all that stuff. Uh, well, that's interesting. I'd rather go on Unholy Flames. It gives the unit an extra random. I'm going to chose the Corn guys right in front of her. We will not be getting a reroll. She succeeds. They will have an extra rend on their attacks. They go up to rend. Those guys are the axes, eh? They rend two on their attacks. And then the Bloodthirster's command trait gives him... He's Firebrand. He's a priest. He could pray as well. I will go with Bronze... Well, he knows Bronze Flesh. So I'm going to cast Bronze Flesh. He does get a reroll. Uh, I'm going to reroll just in case I need it. No, we're good. Okay. I think they're all four of us anyways. I'm just too lazy to look. Uh, we're going to target that also on the Blood Warriors. There. That increases their saving throw by one. It's like a... It's pretty much Mystic Shield. But longer range. Off them up those and... Uh, Ah, that's probably it. We're going to go ahead and move. I'm going to pick uh, this unit. It's going to be one that's going to chill. Actually, no, this one's going to be the one that chills. And then the flanking Blood Reaver units are going to be the ones that are going to get near the battlefield edges there outside of my territory. Uh, as for movement, I'm going to double check if either one of them need the at the double. And I'll use it if needed. Otherwise, everything else is going to move. And I will be right back once that's finished. And we've pushed out, except the Bloodthirster is going to hang back for a turn. I don't really know what I want to do with him yet. Uh, as of now, my buffed up, you know, Blood Warriors went forward. And then we ran the Realmscape Ritualist as well as the Wrathmongers uh, behind them. The Skull Cannon just moved forward towards the Nahole. They had to add the double because to complete the battle tactic, they would have had to roll a four up run. Didn't want to risk it, so they had to double outside of my territory and uh, wholly within six of the battlefield edge. And then I mimicked that over here, except I obviously couldn't add the double. But they just needed, a, they, they could do it on a basic move, essentially. So the run just helped them get a little bit further up if I needed it. And then the rest of my forces moved forward. The Exalted Deathbringer, the Wrathmongers behind, the Slaughter Priest. I decided to keep my Blood Secretor inside of the garrison for now uh, to see where things kind of go. And then the Blood Warriors are hiding out in the woods. They don't really have any buffs on them. They're just kind of chilling in the woods. Otherwise, the Skull Cannon stayed back here because it has to stay within six. And uh, I didn't want to keep the Bloodthirster within six because where he is, he can fly over if I need him to. But if he was further back, uh, he'd be living on where he could fly to. So with that in mind, my turn is complete. The Skull Cannons are ranged pieces, but they only shoot 18 inches. Hmm. They're oddly more close combat oriented in a yep. lot of ways. Though I like them. Uh, I think I like them. I mean, we'll see. We'll see if I like them or not. Anyways, that is it for my turn. I do complete my battle tactic. I am wholly outside of my territory with two of the units that are near one of the two different board edges. And I got the one near this board edge. And I got one of the objectives in the middle. They're both technically under my colors. The other ones are out of reach. And that'll be three points for the Blades of Corn. No Blood Tithe points, sadly, as we go on to Rats turn one. an update on the command points and the score. Now we're going to go to Skaven turn. Okay, uh, pretty easy. I think we're going to... Because this one, our territory is only our deployment zone, right? Correct. The, pretty so flexible. Intimidate the invaders and just <gasps> run at you. I was going to do that one too, but I figured I'll do this one now while I have the units to do it, and then I'll do yep. Intimidate the Invaders. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I want to be the aggressor in this one, so yeah, I think this one makes more sense. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to try to get an extra command point on the big man. The squeak, 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 squeak. No. Nope. I'm going to attempt it on my... Blood Crater, I guess. Because he's a totem. Why not? Aha! Now nah, we roll that. Hiya! That's a fail. Ready? I'm going to start whipping rats. Move uh, phase. Uh, 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 get whipped. Get whipped. Get whipped. So all the pack master molders whip the rat ogres. Yep. And then uh, do you want to roll the random moves on the hell pits on camera? Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm, we'll go one at a time. We'll just see where they end up so we can laugh at this together. Oh, we didn't tell the viewers what augments on uh, the hell yeah, pits. So that is... 
We've got the toughened sinews right here. So he's got more armor on him. Yep. Uh, backup organs. Huh, which gives him a reroll on the two horrible to die. Gotcha. Uh, backup organs. This is the accelerated regeneration. So he heals in your hero phase as well as mine. And then we're going to go for uh, quivering bulk. Which is the avalanche of flash. I get plus one. Uh, a little more effective. Gotcha. All right. So yep. which one are we starting with movement? Mr. Sinews. How pit number one? It's going to go... Four. Four. Oh, he was slow last time, I think, too. Okay. So it's the water, really, is what it wanted, is. Wanted a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, okay. his wheels are getting stuck in the water. Good Going call. I'll pit over here. Okay. Five. He's not doing much better. Mr. Big Regen. Uh, you know what? I'll change dice. These ones aren't rolling the way I would need them to. Okay. I see superstition has entered the mix. Nice. A little bit. Eight. Look at that. Sli Welcome to the middle of the battlefield. Why, thank you. And then the sneaky one. Ooh. Ooh! Ten, not bad. It'll be the final move. The rest will be the Rat Ogres, who are just going to do regular moves and... Uh, no. Now, I acknowledged this in the last video. Uh, these guys do need to be put on bigger size bases, unfortunately. <laughs> kind of bummed out. Um, it won't take it was long. Mistake. It's not going to... It's not going to hugely impact this battle, for, especially with the way that Luke and I are playing, that we're not, like, being super competitive about this. Just playing a game of cool models, man. That's it. But so. I do want to acknowledge that, yes, I know, it needs to get... But Next. if you do feel so inclined, we are at mini war gaming. If you want to send the Warhammer police our way. Yeah, if you want to send the Warhammer, <laughs> I, I know that people out there are ready to do it. I think part of it is that um, <clears throat> we noticed it partway through the first game. Which was, I don't know how long ago for you guys. Uh, it probably, I'm assuming that this is the vault video that goes along with it. Oh, is that, well, you would know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, because uh, the plan was to get this army touched up before then, but unfortunately we had a guest that couldn't make it in, so I needed to jump in and play today. And this and is a great army to do it with. Yeah, this is a cool army to do it with. It's mm -hmm. one I had prepared already, so I'm able to run downstairs and play. So I kind of wanted a rematch against it as well. Yeah, which you something... did. You did. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> spoilers for the last game. I'll run the the large lad, <laughs> the big guy. All right. Well, you know what? We'll be back after all these moves because uh, at this point we know what's going on. And we are back after moving again. There's one of the master molders. The second one, I guess I'll point out the master molders a little more important. Third and fourth one, holding some warp stone. I think he's actually considering, or he had just finished gnawing on it a little bit there. He's been, he's been, he's been munching on it. I like that he sticks around the uh, the scryer one too, because he kind of looks. He's got he like looks that a little, little bit scryers. So that's the other thing too. In case anybody's wondering, um, he was done on a larger base. So it doesn't impact the game a ton, but it's also I can use him as a gracier stand-in if I need to. Yes, yeah. Because um, being on a slightly bigger base. But wizards are bad. For the purposes, wizards <laughs> are bad, but it's just nice to have that option. That's what everyone who plays with wizards uh, says. Right, <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, no, I don't like wizards. Luca knows I hate wizards. They're dumb. Oh, it's that uh, rat shooting time. It's rat shooting time. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Are you trying to shoot my shoot? My shoot? Uh, I was thinking about it. Shoot my guns. Well, yeah. Who brings guns? I'm not going to get too fancy. We'll just go these guys shooting over into... Uh, we'll see the guy straight ahead. Why not? Bring it on. Pop, pop. shots? Mm. D3 per guy. There's, if anyone's unfamiliar with Rad Ogres, half the unit gets a... I can't remember the gun. I think it's a warp fire gun. It just shoots warp lead, essentially. So it's yep. like random shots per gun. They're pretty good, actually. I like them. They're in the aura plus one to hit. Yes. So I'm going to get uh, threes to hit. Okay. Very good. And then these are going to be threes to wound. Hmm. Rend of uh, at least one ice. Rend one, two damage. Uh, that's going to gun down four of them. So we're going to lose one, two, three, and four. Look at that. My poor coherency. Actually, no, they're six. Never mind. They're only ten strong. They're good. Put that down. Remember, they got to do battle shock later. Okay. We'll go these guys shooting. I didn't fully prepare myself for this. Huh. Uh, you know what? We'll just shoot the lads behind. Ah, uh, yeah. They don't really have a great save. Yeah. But they have many wounds. Two! Two shots. Right. Oh. Uh, they're in a plus one to hit, plus one to wound. So these are threes into twos. Wow, perfect. Red uh, one? Red one. If this gives them six ups. Ooh, pass one, fail one. One wound left. That's really weird. You never roll like that. <laughs> Put on some random dude in the back. He's got one remaining wound. And then these lads over into those. Ooh. Bop, bop, oh, I hate these guys. Threes. Nice. And then twos. Okay. Four of them. Uh, that should just kill eight. If they're within the same plus one to hit, plus one wound aura. That makes yes. sense. Yes. All right. Well, then that should be all ten of the dead. And that means a blood tide point all around. Just shred right through the woods, right through their soft bodies. I thank you. We're shooting. 
Let's go over to charges. We're gonna start with the, uh, you know what? Let's just start with his hell pit back here. All He's right. gonna roll very high. <laughs> Oh, oh, he rolled pretty high. It's pretty high. Oh, look at him go. He's just building up so much speed. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you want to just try all the hell pits or you want to do uh, guys? Probably because they're the most like weirdly variable. Yeah. Uh, we'll go with this guy here. Ooh. Hey. Uh, I don't think he's enough. in, yeah. but it's, I a, seen good, the five it's a good initially. roll. Nah, he yeah, no, he's like, he needed a 10. Right. Check out this guy next. Uh, yep. Big guy. Five. Five. Yeah, no, he's not in. And the and, uh, sneaky you know, sneak one. Sneak at you. Oh yeah. So well, that's probably six. welcome. Thank okay. you. It's very kind. Who is next? Um. And all these rat ogres, if they do charge, you get plus three. They're charged because they got whipped into action. Yes. Let's go. These lads here. All right. So plus three to this. Okay. Ten. All right. Yeah, the like there. so ish. Uh, these red ogres here. Plus three to the charge, and we see an eight. They are ready to fight. And the lads here from way down town. <laughs> Can they make it? Oh, yeah. Oh. 15. Oh. Oh. Ooh, they can probably go for this guy. Well, no one expects the 15 inch charge. Here we go. No, are. no. And then. Very that, tactically viable. We have a couple monsters rampages to do. I assume you'd like to roar over here. Yeah, so it's going to be the roar there, and then probably just the stomp. The stomp, yeah. So roar first. So roar. Less. Okay. That, that'll help me a lot. Yep. And, and then uh, stop. Oop. Nope. All right. Nothing. Oh, they're going to all have defense. <laughs> yep. I think I will just go with him first, and he's going to. I'm going to rotate the rat. Oh, God. There's tails and hands and it's stuff everywhere, dude. A lot of spindly bits. Bring it in. Boom. I'm going to get as many within three as I can. Of course. I will. Oh, yeah. Hey, I got the same roll kind of back at you. When they die, they do more wounds to guys oh, within nice. three. Uh, you will attack them, I suppose, and I'm going to declare an all-out defense on them. Yep. As much as I can. I got one command point left. It looks like all nine, well, nine out of the ten are going to be within three. That guy's too far there. Cool. And this is Avalanche of Flesh. Yes, on twos. Boop. Rerolling because I charged you. Ooh. These are also a single mortal wound? Yes. Oh, that's brutal. Okay, you just killed half the unit. Well, nine. Nine wounds. You killed uh, a quarter of the unit because yeah. they're two wounds each. I have a wound style. All the attacks are done. I want to see where I got to pull my guys. Yes, very clever, very smart, and I guess the proper way to play. And this will be my flailing fists. Ooh. So twos to hit because of the aura. Okay. Mm. And twos to wound. Same aura, I think. It is, yeah. Three. These one. are minus one. Uh, they have a three up save normally. They get plus one for bronze flash, plus one for all out defense, minus one, so I got two up against this. Don't roll ones. We roll the one. Uh, so it's three damage. So we're at 12 total so far. The infamous jaws. Just give them the teeth. Oop. Ooh, good start. They've hit. And wound. Uh, two field wounds. So we got four wounds at minus three. Minus three. They have a one up save with all the modifiers, so it'll be a four up save after everything is said and done. Moan blood armor. Ah, one of them holds. That's an additional six. There'll be 18 wounds on the unit. There'll be one left with a couple of wounds in the end there. I might as well keep the special weapon, I suppose, and the rest are going to die. And I got to figure out where I want to go with their no respite. Also, double check, didn't get any sixes to save for Gorfis. So I am going to murder us to the last. Uh, I guess I'll do all of them into the hell pit. I'll do 18 rolls into the hell pit. Actually, if I'm keeping this guy, if this guy's going to die, he has to go into the uh, Rat Ogre. So I'll do him into the Rat Ogres. We take one mortal wound, and okay. then I'm going to do 16 into the Hell Pit. Let's do eight twice. So it's going to be three, uh, four, five, six. He takes six mortal wounds, and they take one. Okay. And we're left with a single Blood Warrior with a Gorglave. That'll leave him at ten wounds left because he's a little bit thicker than the other Hell Pits. And uh, five remaining on them. And then that was your pick. I will go with... Um, there's six wounds each, eh? Yeah. My God. I'm going to go with him and a chance of getting, like, if I kill a model after he attacks, he shoots his gun, so try and do some damage with him. I'll keep him where he is and attack the uh, Rat Ogres. Within range of the Wrath Mongers, or at least that one Wrath Monger, but it's a little weird because it's two guys with Hellblades, but only get one more attack. Boo! We got five attacks with Hellblades. I'm not going to use any command points here. I get uh, six to hit or just a mortal wound, and the attack sequence ends, and I believe I got two hits. And the three says we got one mortal wound in there, and then one at rend, one more save rend one, I believe. Rend one, so let's be do a five up. Oh, you're good all the same. Very attacks twice with his gnashing maw. Hits once, 
Uh, wounds as well. Well, minus one. Minus one. Yeah. Oh, you're good. Yeah, bad. No damage. And then we're coming over to here. We're going to fight oui, oui. these rat ogres. So they're on a go. Two rat ogres. Two rat ogres. Uh, we'll go to the healthier squad first. Sure. Scratch that. These three will attack this way. This one will attack the one where the help it is. So the one into where the help it is. Two's to hit. Sixes explode. Boop. And then two's to wound. Easy. Uh, rend of at least one, I assume. Uh, I believe these are rend one. And again, plus one to wound <laughs> from the whip, plus one to hit from the... The artifact. Or the command. artifact yeah. nearby, yeah. That'll be 10 damage. That'll clear them out. I am going to do four murder rolls against him, two against the unit, and I'll get a blood tithe point. Two murder rolls into the unit, nothing there. And then that would be four into the hell pit. Murder. The hell pit takes two mortals. They die. And cleaned up by giant rats. And it's your here. pick. Yep, oh, sorry. Right. I, I guess I got to swing with the rest of the, the, rest of the unit. Yeah, I forgot. Cool. So I'll pull these out, but then put them back in for the sixes. Yeah. They explode. Yeah. A couple fails, and that's the unit dead there as well. Same idea. They're going to uh, murder to the last, I believe. These two in here might be lagging a little too far behind. That one's good. The corner guy's probably too far. Remember, we're supposed to have fat bases, so if it's close, just take it. Ah, uh, true. But they have no choice but to smack those big guys. I'm in range. You take three mortals. And bring us to three blood tithe points. Okay. That is that. Now that you can resolve. Now I get to go. Oh, what do I got? I got like this one guy. Oh, wait. Mm. I could I could pile him with her and she got like weird uh, cannonball dagger. <laughs> but I'm going to attack with this guy first. Uh, let's see. He's going to pile into this guy here, I guess. Ba ba ba. Three attacks from the Glor Glaive because of this, because of them. Got two hits. <gasps> it happened. Probably only one wound, though. Ren three because of the Hellfire or the Prayer. It's actually rat down to two wounds. Three wounds. That's my pick. It's cannon time. Boo. Then we're going to this pile in here and uh, and beat up the Hell Cannon. I'm going to try my bestest. Probably going to beat up the Hell Cannon. These are threes to hit because I've charged far out of my aura. <laughs> yeah, like super far. Oh, okay. no. But I'm still two to wound. Yes. Because of the whip. That's oh, the thing. Where there's a whip, there's a way. <laughs> we are again. The five up save. That'll be drop die. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, oh, you're still dead. Takes 10. It is not immortal, so it does not do any fancy fighting, but it does give me a blood tithe point. We're at four already. I only really have her to pick now, so I will. I'm going to have her go. I'm just going to stay right here. Yeah. Attack from there. Stab you twice with my dagger because we got them nearby. Very tempted to all out attack her. Just to try and get more damage on that weird help hit. This guy weirdly lives in Inspire would be big, so I'm not gonna, just don't roll twos here. Ah, didn't matter, got a one. And it wounds as well. Minus two normally, but Josh did all the defense from one of the many characters nearby. So it goes to a three up and then minus two? Yes. So for a five up. Five up. <gasps> a save, didn't matter. Well, it kind of mattered technically. Actually, no, the all the defense didn't matter. This guy does two more damage to you, I forgot. He's plus one wound near an objective. I rolled a two to wound. Oh, yeah, one wound left I'll, on that rat. Oh, good, and one wound. Look at that. That's because I'm the gore tide. Sorry, guys. Hasn't mattered really anywhere else. She rolled a one. Or she wounded with her one attack. Just kind of. Uh, I don't. Piling in. They don't want to engage the Realmscape Ritualist because they don't want to engage the Wrathmongers. Yeah. There's a lot of attacks. Twos and twos. Oh. And sixes. Ooh, everything hits. <laughs> Threes to wound. Twos to wound. Two, sorry, the whip. <gasps> That's a lot of two ups I gotta make. Saves after all the modifiers, two up. Ah, oh, we failed the first half, so he's dead. He is gonna murder the. I'll go for the rat ogre, I guess. One mortal wound. So, you kill one. I got a rat ogre. Ah, I go up to five blood tithe points. No more picks, but Josh has one more guy who charged. Yeah, so I'm gonna do some measurement, but probably send him into those there. The warriors? Blood war Not gonna bother committing him because he won't be in range to attack. It's only one inch reach, yeah, except for the avalanche is three inch, but that's not really the big damage doer. Yeah. Yeah, the Blood Reavers are trying to act as a speed bump. Kind of worked out, so. So uh, just to clarify for everybody, it's it's making sure that the front line was more than. Yeah, the four, Blood Reavers. You're 4.5 inches away, away or so, yeah. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. So when you collide them, you pile in your three, you're still 1.x away from the units behind them. Yep. Now, granted, most things, most big guys have bigger than 1-inch reach attacks, but most of his damage is from his 1-inch reach attacks. Didn't want to really risk it. It is a lot of attacks back, so it's probably not worth it. No. I, and I, and For a couple more wounds, it's totally not worth it. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, we are good to go to the Battleshock phase, which I assume 
I'll just inspire with general. What is their bravery out of curiosity? Uh, what do you think it is? What does it feel I like? I think it's like four. It's or five. Five? Okay, yep. yeah. So even losing one ogre can be kind of, well, I mean, not too bad, but could amount to another one running. They, they're pretty expensive, so that's not in the, that's not ideal. Yeah, they're like, so. There's 70 a model, eh? Uh, it's 140 for two of them. Yeah. So each yeah. of these units I'm paying like 284. Gotcha. Okay. Well, scoring, you definitely got your battle tactic. You got to get more than half of your units out of your territory than are in your territory, which you've accomplished, I think, with yep. almost your entire army, except for the giant rats, I guess, in the very back there. I didn't forget about them. <laughs> uh, and then you got at least one of the objectives, so that will be three victory points for Skaven. It is a tie game. I lost most of my screens, but that was the plan. They gave me a lot of blood tithe points. I'm already at five, so I can do some shenanigans there. Mostly summoning. Had no battle shocks I had to do, but we were on... Normally, not such an important role, but with this army, a pretty this important is, role. This is a dumb army. Six. Okay, so you get it on Macklin. Nice, I'm going to take it no matter how cocked it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just to see I rolled. Hypothetical. Three. I got a three. My three roll. Oh, it would have mattered. Oh, see? <laughs> Good thing that was perfectly flat. Exactly. Yeah. Damn it. And no one can tell me otherwise. I'm taking it. <laughs> In addition to going second, Josh gets to pick uh, either this objective or this objective for the geysers or the geomantic pulses to begin. And they are going to be worth two victory points per side who controls them at the end of their turn. In addition to the one, the one or ones adjacent to it will be worth an additional one as well, or one victory point. They'll be active, essentially. Uh, you want to go this side? Yeah, we'll start over here. Boom. So that means this is active now and then turn three, four, and five in that exact order is how the uh, geysers or the pulses are going to go. Narratively, why I have all these monster monstery things set up is like something is underneath the surface causing the geomantic mm. pulses. Something, um, I guess, natural technically, but <laughs> much larger than what's going on on the surface here. And Josh is going to get an extra command point over we'll that. Guy, snake boy. Easy enough. I am going to pick a battle tactic. Uh, my battle attacks would be led in the Maelstrom, so I have to charge with a character and some battle line, and I have to have them engaged in combat at the end of my turn. At least one of them. Should be easy enough. Uh, a lot of battle line characters can be fighting, so we shall see how that goes. And uh, as for my action, I'm going to use my superiority die, too, from my Warlord Battalion to go up to three command points, I guess. And you know what? It's going to be his finest hour. He's the cream of the crop. He's going to rise to the top. Let's go. Oh, buddy. <laughs> He's funky like a monkey. <laughs> Sky's the limit, but space is the place. Let's go. <laughs> you gonna go for leadership? Yeah, I'll go for leadership, and we'll just throw it on to... Uh, this fat rat. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. no, let's we'll spread the love out. Uh, uh, glowy head. Sure. Nope. nope. He didn't squeak loud enough. <laughs> That's the third failed one for collectively. This guy's gonna blood boil. He's gonna do d6 mortal wounds to a unit, I suppose, just to get some damage out on the table here. I don't think I'll get much out of the extra blood tithe point. Oh, man, I mean, I could. Blood tithe points are really good. I'm gonna go for the blood tithe point. Fail. Reroll. Still fail. Okay. Well, we tried. This guy's got to go back to priest school. I don't know. He needs a good slap across the face from Gorn. That prayer in particular is for to answer. Let's go to a ritualist. Hexed blood is pretty good. It gives a unit minus one to their attack characteristics, which would be pretty good on the rat ogres to limit them, but I don't really know where I want to fight. See if I get the prayer, then I'll figure it out. We don't. Uh -huh. And then my Bloodthirster only has bronzed flesh, which will... Okay, <laughs> no prayers for me. <laughs> we don't need them. I need to uh, get you some help from Corn here. Corn has abandoned me. Well, let's throw all caution on the wind charge everywhere and hope the dice are on my side, which they clearly aren't so far. That's my thing. <laughs> well, they're clearly, clearly <laughs> not. His position, I mean, if you won that priority roll, it would have been game over. You, you on turn two, again? yet again, stupid destruction like armies. Uh, yeah. You told, okay, so to be to be fair, we've talked about Age of Sigmar a ton, and we've talked about Luke and what he likes in games. And he's like, I don't like shooting, I like fighting. Ah, true. So I'm like, I'm playing the armies that you want me to play. There's no range shenanigans. There's a little like bit that. more to that. There's a little more context to that story. I don't really think that there is no, a lot. You're like, no, you want <laughs> armies that just, you know, that just go grind in the middle. And here I am in the middle, trying to grind. Good, trying to grind. Uh, cl close to, cluff, close Except to the Except for those scuff. guys that went, uh, which is like 22 inches. <laughs> they went very And far. then piled in. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, I'm in a pickle. I'm in a pickle. So I got to fight, over, obviously, over here. That'd be nice. Uh, you know what? Honestly, it just depends on how far, he, how well he does. I'm not going to use any blood tithe points. I'm just going to summon at the end of my turn. I get 10 blood letters, and uh, hopefully they can do something. And if they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. He's going to take to the sky. He's going to do his 12-inch move. Mm. Take him about here. Would you like to redeploy anywhere? 
Uh, no, I think I'll let you have it. All right. The three goes. This chariot trundles up its eight on this side of the board. The reaver is going to come up as well. I'm scooting up the board there. We're going to issue a redeploy from that little guy to that big guy. Move. Uh, four. four. Excellent. We're going to have him go that away. I will move my blood warriors. After the big rad redeploy, I just push forward my forces. Here comes the Exalted Deathbringer, Wrathmonger, Slaughter Priest, Blood Warriors. Oh dang. I just got these guys to move. It's a tough call. A lot of uh, horrible fighting back and forth everywhere. I don't really gonna lose my ritualist, I guess, at some point here, but I suppose that's okay. Blood Secretor, pop out of the garrison as well. Nearly forgot about him. I just kind of want him in there fighting at this point. We're just going to try and fight everywhere and hope for the best. Ah, uh, they're just going to stay still, I guess, because whatever, they're going to move and not gonna get much out of it, I, I suppose. Look at this. Wow. Wow. It's so technical. I can't really move that far that way. There we go. We're done. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's going to bring us to shooting. I don't believe Mr. Insensate Rage has a Hellfire Breath, but this guy is going to pop a couple shots. It's up a uh, burst of skulls. It's four shots on threes. They're, oh, sorry, into the big guy. They all hit. And three of the moon at Ren 2. Would you oh. like to all load defense? No. 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 It's just good. any. Uh, so I think it just takes damage. Yeah, it's going to be 3d3. Uh, it's only four damage. Got him down to eight. Then. Bah, bah, bah. That's about it for him. No shooting from anywhere else, but I do have to bring in my demons. I forgot I was going to summon 10 blood letters to this battlefield. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely want to do that. Here are my 10 appropriately based blood letters. <laughs> they're uh, attempting to make it so they're on slightly larger bases by space. Oh, well, yeah, you make bit. me feel bad about a, a genuine mistake. <laughs> We've had these for how long and you haven't got them rebased? You think I'm going to do that? No. I don't care. Oh. There we go. Uh, that is it. Uh, I'm going to go to charging because I'm done shooting. Let's start with the big guy, I guess. Uh, you do have some Overwatch. Yeah, I got a little bit. Unleash heck. So let's do let's do these Reavers first. Oy! They get a six. They don't actually have a musician in that unit because they don't have the model, so they don't get the plus one. Over to there. Next up, Blood Warriors. They are gonna. They don't have a musician. They go seven. We're just gonna get all messy up in there. Oh no. Yeah, they're ready and they love it. Uh, though I'm just gonna keep going down the line. Let's go, Exalted Deathbringer. He'll go ten. No, my guys are gonna die. That's a spicy roll. We can get him in the middle there. We're gonna go with the Slaughter Priest next. Eight. Yeah, Corn loves it. You know, gotta say it. Gotta say the words. Right, he'll go in there. Uh, the Wrathmonger is going to attempt to charge. They're going to go nine. Oh, going that way. And they're charging in like that. We're going to keep this guy back here because he is uh, a fool. We're going to keep these guys here just as a buffer for later because I clearly don't have enough room to charge with them right now. Totally meant to charge with them first and leave them back. But mm. this works all the same, I guess. You probably would have felt the charge, so. Ah, it's true. I rolled just a nine. Oh, did you? <laughs> they ro- they would have had a ten, yeah. But uh, I'll keep that. That also a little bit less efficient, but still kind of works. Uh, next up, we have the Wrathmonger's here charge. They're going to go seven. Nothing too fancy. And then the Bloodthirster. Bop. Eight. Oh, you know, oh, there it is. Yeah, corn corn was it. <laughs> going to go flying on the objective with him. And uh, just getting enemies within eight. My, did I get those guys within eight with that move? I guess I can still oh, yeah, I hope them. you don't, but probably. I always got a face. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hold yeah, you got everybody in with that. That little guy back there. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, that'll be it for my charges. I can, uh, I can roar, I guess. Yep, you know, I'm roaring at them. Oh, they got roared. Yep, my man. Uh, I guess I will say that my pick will be to. Oh, I gotta roar somewhere and stomp somewhere. Stomping on her. Stomp her. Not her. That's good. D three. She got. Three wounds left, she has five, and three, and then a roar on the Blood Warriors. Uh, yes, no commands for them. Okay, well, fight phase. This guy has fights first, so he will go first. Mm. I'm gonna pile in, doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna get that butt a little bit more that direction. Ah, uh, let me just figure this out. It was pile in there. I can't get them in range there, and the Blood Secretor is gonna declare his once per game ability. The whole table gets plus one attack. Ugh. Yeah. So instead of it being an aura like it was, which is a once per game ability now, but it'll still be useful. So we're gonna attack with him. He'll have an extra attack from the Blood Secretor and an extra attack from the Wrathmongers. He has seven attacks. I will issue all that attack on him here. Uh, mm. And I'm gonna put the attacks into the... Who's got 10 wounds left? Yep. Uh, but they have 18. How's it going to them, I guess? 
Yeah, I'll attack them. Ready? Uh, so you're going into them? What's yeah. the rend on it? Uh, they got roared at. Oh, yeah, never mind then. All right, that's rend two, I believe. Uh, threes. Ooh, one miss. Oh, no, that's not a great start. And twos, but I want sixes. Three oh, sixes. There you go. That's so. probably, that's 18, that's 12 more wounds to everything within eight inches. No. That's the that's the gamble I mean by the list. Yep. Everything within eight takes twelve mortal wounds, and then, <laughs> yeah, I think you're safe over here. I couldn't get yeah, that within yeah. eight. Yeah. Okay. Um. So these are both dead. <laughs> yeah. My my very important pieces. Uh. Okay. Then. There we go. Welcome to a very volatile game. <laughs> there's, the, there's one rat left over. Actually, <laughs> yeah, five six. <laughs> yeah. We were talking about it, and Luca's like, "Well, if I don't roll two sixes, you're fine. Yeah, you're roll two if sixes. I get two sixes, I'll get the uh, the master molders over there. But uh, three sixes, uh, I'll take. It kills the hell pit, but he has to roll on the table. Yeah. So, yeah, one. No, he just dies. He just whimpers and dies. This is the exact opposite of our last game. Yep. Uh, and then that hell pit. Well, that one already took his wounds. He's got two wounds left. That hell, that uh, rat ogre has to do five six up saves that are some damage each. Oh yeah. Oop. That's pretty good, but it's not what I needed. <laughs> That's a super good roll. Yeah, I'm glad I wasted that. Uh, I'll immediately just pop his little ability. Yeah. Uh, so I'll pop his command point to issue the command. That's from the Season of War. That's the command point you got for going second. Yep. And three up. Yes. Yes, the unit comes back. Uh, is it right away? Or oh, yep. I can't remember. Yep. We'll see them again soon. That was very dramatic. Uh, they are showing up over here now. He just summons another unit near him, more than nine away from me. They come back, as a re but they can't come back again. Yes, that unit can't resurrect again. And that's a command ability, so if this unit dies, they can't be ordered to come back. Either. When that unit dies. When, when that unit dies. Yes. So that's it for his attacks. But him doing that gave me three blood tithe points. He killed two master molders. No, four. He killed two master molders, a hell pit, and uh, those guys. Pick. Oh, jeez. Because that was a fight first. Yep. Cool. Uh, I, yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably go with the Wrathmongers. Both well, the Wrathmongers, they have five attacks each currently. Uh, so let's go a little bit because of the Blood Secretor. You go up and over. I'll just have this guy take that spot because he's the champion anyways. Uh, it will be 26 attacks into those Rat Ogres. You can all of defense, though, if you want to. Uh, no. Okay. 26 attacks hitting on threes. I technically only rolled 20 attacks there because I only have 20 dice. So here's my six rerolls. Hey, there we go. That's what I got for hits. Uh, I got reluctant. Now they get plus one wound because they're in gore tide near an objective. So twos to wound. So Ooh. that is going to be about 17 at minus one. Now just to clarify, I would have all it depends, but I'm actually out of range for it. I'm in my 13 aura. I'm not in my 12 aura. So fives are good. Did roll four anyways. Doesn't matter. Yep. Just one. Oh, okay, so that's uh, one dead and then one uh, wounded dead. Uh, he should be, he had three wounds left. Oh, so then yeah. never mind. He'll kill that's two. two dead and one with Kill the guy with the wings and the one surrounded by blood warriors. That guy down well, five. Been, that could have been worse. It's not too bad. That's all I got for attacks though. Well, that's for my picks. You get to go. Yeah, I think what we're gonna do is we'll have the large lad go. Yep, big guy. Um, Cause I may as well. He will take my once per game plus one a wound. Inspired. And he will uh, get an all-out attack. Yes. And they got roared at, so I can't do diddly against his attacks. Which yes. Let me know how many are within three. Uh, quite a bit. It'd be seven. These three are lingering back there. Seven? More wounds. Uh, these are twos. Six mortals. That kills three of them. Well, six, six damage so far, I guess. Uh, let's give you some flailing fists. Twos to hit. Hmm. Not bad. Twos to wound. Hey. Minus one. Four ups because of the rend. We make two, we fail two. That's six. Uh, six damage, yeah. We're 12 in total. And some teeth. Teeth. Ooh, good start. One, Decent follow up. Five. Minus three. Six ups. Ooh, fail them all. That's two another. Two damage piece. And 22 damage. They're all dead. They're so consistent at killing me. Um, let's loo. Well, they're all dead. I am going <laughs> to do all their, so it's going to be seven of them striking at, that's just it, these three back here die. So it'll be a blood tithe point and then 14 murder strikes. There's no need to all that attack. Sorry, I forgot that I brought him back to be in the aura here for plus that's, one hit. That's what the redeploy did. Definitely, definitely should have gone with them first. I always forget how strong those uh, help hits can be if I just leave them be. But the help hit will take five mortal wounds. Oh, okay. Hope to five blood tithe. Got three wounds left on him? Yep. All right. Let's go with the Exalted Deathbringer, I guess. See if he can't get some damage in on these guys. Oh. He's gonna come up and over. No. I'm hitting everything on the way in. 
going to all out defense him now that the yes. two that were too far away. The one that was too far away, so it, this works out now. Let's see if he does any damage with his Ruinous Axe. Boom, he hits four times. Then he gets mm. plus one to wound. Oh, let me double check. Definitely wasted the finest hour on him, only because I forgot I get plus one to wound near objectives already. You get a better save. That's true. I have, I have a, that at least going for him this turn, which probably won't matter. Ah, two wounds though, and one. Back to your four up. Yep. Oh, nice. Three damage per swing. Got you down to two. to two. Bad ogres. Yep, uh, and I'll just swing to the Wrathmongers. Okay, fair. I'm going to all load defense them to counteract their end a little bit, I hope. So these are in the plus one to hit aura. There's no plus one to wound aura left, though, because you murdered that man. Uh, I throw the six back in. How big is that aura? Uh, for the plus one to hit? The wound one. So oh, like the, the, the guy wound one and the other, they're both 13s. Oh, okay. Gotcha. It's just one's plus one to hit and wound, and this one's only plus one to hit. Oh, wow. see, that, that didn't uh, work well. Oh, I'm waste my all of defense. Yeah, so there's one. Oh, oh, two damage. Oh, okay. Take it on a guy up here, I suppose. And then uh, I will just go with the blood bathe the at. Why doesn't he just stay right there and swim? Oh, the exalted deathbringer would have had one more attack, Oops. just getting out of the way. My bad. I failed. There we go. Cool. I forgot the uh, wrathmongers. He got an extra attack from this and the wrathmongers. Ah. So now we'll do him with the right amount of attacks. Five attacks on threes. Oh, that's pretty good. Two swoon because of Gortide. Five at Ren two. Should have a five up with all the defense. That's mm. eight damage. That kills them both. Yep. That uh, is a uh, blood Ooh, I point. needed to I know. lose them at a different time. Yes. And then I have the last pick here. It's the Blood Reavers piling in and attacking the big weird rat abomination. I don't want to engage that little master, master molder. molder just in case this goes sideways for these poor Blood Reavers. So I'm just going to put the attacks pile in as much as I can with those who didn't make it. Should be six of them attacking. Sorry. Let's just pile in more this way. Let this guy go that way. Get this guy in there for six of them attacking. Dean attacks because the champion. Four is to hit. We got some hits. Three soon because they're near the banner, but they're also near an objective, so a little redundant. Uh, that is six saves at minus one. I think the minus one's going to do it. Hopefully. Sixes? Oh, he's dead. Well, the membrane did not matter. Let's roll on the chart. Mwah. Bwop. Hey. He's back with D6 wounds. He lived with three. Hey, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That I think it. it's a two. Okay, well, that'll be you it. killed a bunch of stuff. I did. I killed a bunch of stuff. I don't get the big objective, but I got this one for one point. And I get another objective for one. I just hold any objective for one. I hold one near the pulse or an additional one. And my battle tactic was complete because they're there. <laughs> Thank God. I forgot. I forgot about my the fact that he came back to life means I get my battle tactic. Oh, no. Yeah. That, it doesn't I'd make a huge. I'd rather have him alive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But you I, know, Blood Tide fight me in. I completely forgot about my battle tactic, yeah. though. Yeah. Okay. Well, that means we're at six. Does he count as dying or no? What does it say? Uh, I will tell you in a minute. It's not destroyed as per the chart, so we're good to continue. That means I'll get a grand total of four victory points. Battle tactic, one objective, an adjacent objective to the pulse. And then we'll go to turn two for the rats. And that's kind of where we stand. I got four points that turn. So as long as Josh gets four here, it'll be tie. What's the battle tactic? I guess I'm going to surround and destroy. Okay. That is the... What is that? What is that the one I did? No, it's not. Yeah, it's going to get in the... Battlefield edges. The edges. I don't... Know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna try. I, I got some ideas. What I'm gonna do? All right. Well, you got a few options. Yeah. Uh, what would you like to do for heroic action? My heroic action will be trying to get because that's a, I, I've actually got two command points right now, right? Yeah. Okay, that's an appropriate amount. Uh, he'll just try to get an extra command point. All right. Leadership. Nope. Okay. I well, this goes away. For leadership on my totem. No. Ah, uh, very good. Yeah. Same. Same. <laughs> no yep. leaderships in this game. Only smash. Can heal. D3. Ooh, three. Bring him back up to six. Healthy six wounds. Mm. Interesting. And then this one that you did 12 wounds to. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Heals three. Okay, that's not bad. Back up to five. Yeah, excellent. Well, I am probably going to try and deal with this one help hit over here. I'm going to use... Are you done your hero phase? Uh, yeah, I think I am. Yeah, I'll use Apoplectic Frenzy on... Ooh, let me double check the battle round thing on this. Yeah, I'll, I'll try it out here. I'll pile in, get a few more of them attacking, and I'll see what that can accomplish for me here. But it'll let me tag the uh, little guy so he's got to retreat. Pile in, drag in the little rat, and do eight attacks. 
Then we'll be attacking this time. The blood secretor is only for the combat phase. I declare it, so that is out of the option, out of the equation. Oh, yes. Fours to hit. Brr. That looks better than last time. Ooh. And three to wound for a plethora of reasons. Boom! With a rend of one. That is eight saves at rend one. See if they can carve down the big guy who decided to come back to life. Barely. Just yep. He just cuts me. Exact. Down. And we re we refund one of the blood tithe points. And that's it for your hero phase. That is. And then is movement. The lads here are gonna get whipped. Absolutely. Are going to retreat. The yeah. Mortar. Now. We talked about this a little bit. It wasn't a gotcha that Luca was able to do the, you know, speed of murder or whatever he did thing to swing. I, I didn't have another battle tactic I could do, so I was essentially forcing him to do this. I just wanted more guys attacking. I didn't even there was a the chance of a th uh, like a throwaway bat rep I could have done, but I wasn't going to go down that route. Yeah. Um. So this is okay. This is fine. Here comes the nonsense. That guy is horrifying. I move the master molder in between them. That one has yeah, the plus not, one to hit artifact. I, Yep. Yep. I think I got a plan cooking, but it's not a good one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next up. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he's never gonna make it. Uh. 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 Yeah, he's gonna come this way. Right through the woods. Yeah. I forgot to roll his. Oh, yeah, I forgot to roll his move, but there he goes yeah, nine. nine. Okay. I was thinking about running him this way, but he basically just shuffled a couple inches over. But yeah. you're right. It, it could have been one inch less. Oh, I mean, in case you rolled high, you could have gone that way. If it's you true. To. Yeah. It's true. Shooting. Oh, I'm just gonna start blasting. Oh, we got a couple. Uh, we'll have these lads go ahead and shoot at uh, these lads. Okay, yeah, well, I got no, not much for that. Here come the pew-pews. Uh, uh, two shots. Okay. Uh, these, these are threes and threes. These new rat ogres are not uh, nope. come well equipped. Nope. <laughs> they have... Did you want to move them? No. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I will just shoot at your lady. Uh, it is negative one to hit. Yeah, whatever. Right, fair. Uh, how many shots? Okay. Oh, okay. Four. Holding four dice. So these are fives into threes. Not my lead. Oh, that could kill her. And oh, two wounds. That probably will kill her. Rend one. Uh, six. No, that's her dead. Pop, pop, pop. Blood tithe. Back to charging. Yeah, let's just go for it there, bud. Just starting there. Uh, sure. All right. Bring it on. Yep. Five. Welcome. There they are. Uh, we'll go large lad here. Oh, he goes eight. The corn wants it. He's going there. Ooh. I guess, yeah. He's going to come up a little bit more. So, if anybody wondering, we play the trees, that the trees are removable. Yeah. Not standard AOS rules, but it just makes the train a little <laughs> bit more interesting. Uh, yeah, it makes it less miserable to play with certain well, models. Well, you can play too. cool tree bases instead of just the Sovnik Wildwoods. Yeah, and then you can, it's very clear what the identity of the uh, woods would be, though, sorry, the yep. identity of the footprint. Not that the Sylvaneth ones aren't, but you can move these ones around at least. It's just, uh, this looks a little nicer. He's fighting from the woods. That's what's happening. He's fighting, yeah. He's a big rat monster coming out of the trees. Don't like that. Uh, other large rat monster. Yes, he's right. in as well. Look at that. That's the Nurgle one, too. Wee. And the new rat ogres. Bam. Yeah, they're in. They should have 10 on that move if they, they want. They do. Oh. For anybody wondering, I decided that I wasn't going to be too clever and just try to kill stuff. Um, the battle tactic would have been I would have charged him in. Right. And then fallen back. As the retreat, yeah, that's not a bad move. I like it. But uh, oh, I, I, I committed to charging over there. Yeah. Well, these guys could have just run up and yes. done their thing. Gonna go for the kill you, so I can't. So you can't score points later. Uh, play approach. Which, yeah. yeah, you already control that. Josh still controls this objective from his previous turn. Yep. So he's a score. He's a score a pretty okay primary. Well, that'll give him two points at least. Plus one for that objective, probably. We're looking at a roar on a three up. Yes, indeedy. Uh, so we're roaring into that. I guess we're roaring and stomping Roaring and stomping them, them. yeah. Roar so first. the roar first. Works. Stomp. Yep. D3. Two. That will finish this guy off. He does not murder a strike because this is the charge phase. And uh, have this guy go to uh, a couple wounds left. There we go. Cool. And uh, go to fighting, I suppose. I don't have anything fancy to do. Just going to fight with these rat ogres over here. Yeah, I'm just going to bring it this way. I guess I'll all of Don't be a here. nerd. Try to. They have a bad save, but anything I can save over here. If I can at least keep one of them alive, I can't keep feeding this guy one attack. Yeah. All right. So you're all a defensive like a chump? Yes, sir. Okay, threes. Six is good. awful. Oh, okay. Start. Threes. Three's wound you. Surrend, hmm. that's going to be 10 saves at five up. Only making one. Ah, uh, well, that's uh, 27 damage. That is the unit dead. They're all in range to murder strike back. Because of the Crimson Haze rule, Josh rolled three ones to attack me, and every one causes a mortal wound back at you. 
Five murderous strikes. I deal three mortal wounds back at you. I slay one of the rat ogres. Come on, rat ogre. And bring one down to five. And we get a blood tithe point. We're at five again. Okay, let's go with my pick. Huh, both are kind of tempting, actually, I suppose. Mm. To do some damage. I think that Wrathmongers would do more damage. Hey, this guy's on five wounds. I'll go for the Wrathmongers. Maybe we'll roll a five. He's going to take no load defense. Yeah. Bringing him back to a five up after I attack him. And we have... 17 attacks mm. and we are fight who controls this objective right now i think i do i control this objective now for now but you'll take it at the end of your turn uh Likely. so it means i don't get plus one to wound threes it's okay and threes Ooh, the twos would be nice just enough to kill you but you have to fail all your saves five of them you do oh, i failed all of them okay uh, let's see what happens all right let's see he's too horrible to die he's got the re-rollable one he does so I'll take the reroll on that and see yep. if I can get the five or the six. You're looking for five up. No. No. Uh, so D3 more wounds to everything uh, within so close. What's the... F is it one to four is D3? Uh, a one is just dead. Oh, two, two to four is I the see. rats emerge. D3 mortal wounds to my... Within three. That'll be all my breath. Is it just for the one unit roll, I assume? Oh, no, I'm close enough. Oh, hit your own guy too? Oh, yeah, it totally does. You could have charged to be outside of three. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, so D3 to you. I'll two. lose the guy. And then D3 to me. Oh, I'll take one. All right. Enough to kill this Wrathmonger. It is not a melee attack that slew him, so he does not do a murderous strike. We got a blood tithe point, though. There we go. Um, I know he can do a lot, but I'll still swing over here into them just to kill stuff. Oh, they are super dead. Ah, I mean, he can do a lot, maybe. He's kind of weird. Poor, poor Reavers. Twos. Yep. Because <laughs> uh, yeah, of the sixes. Threes. And these are oh, dead. They're dead. dead. Yeah. I'm just going to do their 10 murder strikes back at you. And on their way out, they deal three mortal wounds. Cool. Cut up about half a rat ogre, and we go to seven blood tide points. Oh, well, they're also now gone. Uh, my pick, I the exalted death bringer, who's going to do a very stylish pile in right I don't know. He's going to pile in. Uh, I want to stay. You know what? I'm going to get. I'm going to go with there. I'm going to get within three of them. Yep. Take him. Three's to hit. Eey. And no. four is to wound because I'm not near an objective. Ah, it didn't matter what I rolled uh, there. Uh, I think I'm going to put all my attacks just in the buddy boy there. In the, more, the little more wound flop too? Yeah, probably. Because the idea is if I get a double turn, then it'll free them up to be free. Yeah, I want them to be free. I, I always have the speed of murder to tie him up on my turn as well. Oh, yeah, that's annoying. The speed of murder is very powerful. Speed of murder is really good. Yeah. Or I could just pile in, but it brings him in. Uh, he's got a lot of Ren 2 2 damage. He's got... Five Ren 2, two damage attacks, or four, maybe four of them. Keep I'll it. stick with this, even though I don't love it. Um, mm -hmm. It's it's the one-inch range attacks, and if I go anywhere, then yeah. you get me. I don't have any... Or do I just go for broke? Could. And just try to kill everything. That could. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, we'll say that these are the rend good ones. Yes. So hitting on twos. Rip. Ooh. All right. Wounding on threes. Five of them? Four of them? Three of them. Three of them, sorry. Uh, well, I don't have an armor save, but I'm going to roll my saves anyways, because if I roll sixes, you take mortal wounds back. 2d3 mortal wounds. You take six mortal wounds. Oh, okay. From his skull gouger. My he skull. Still, he still takes the damn. How much damage is that? Uh, six? That's six that went thin, yeah. All right, so I'll just, he's got a five aboard save afterwards. Let's see what else he have. Uh, these are the twos, followed up by threes. Four of them. All right, he's going to roll... These are only rend one. Another three damage apiece. Okay. And you take another three mortal wounds because I rolled a six. Okay. A six was a save, but he's already taken. <laughs> so these are three damage each? No, these are two. Uh, each. Those, are, oh, those these, are the three damage each, yeah. There's an additional nine damage. Do the 15. mortal wound flop on two? Okay, take uh, a mortal wound. So he's at 16 wounds being allocated to. He's got a five up ward. All right, here's eight of them. So he's, he's dead. All right, there we go. Oh, very good. Uh, when he dies, he's going to murder a strike. He has three of them because he's a character on fives, eh? Hmm. Who would I want to go for? That guy hasn't rolled yet, eh? Hmm. No. I'm going to go for him because he heals on the next. Oh, it doesn't matter who I went for. Ooh, I'm at eight blood tithe points. And uh, that hurt. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I've actually never rolled that well with uh, Blades of Corn in general, actually. I was going to say with him, but then he rolled well and everything else is doing a lot of mortal wounds with a murder strike as well. Yes. Okay, well, that should be it, I suppose. Uh, yep. And that is going to bring us to the end of the turn. You get we, we. two points for this objective you control, 
And do I get points? Yeah, I don't get points for anything over there, right? Uh, you get one if you hold like just a, an objective. So you got this one and that one, but they're yep. only worth one. So it's a total of three, which means I'm up by one Ooh. because of my battle tactic last turn. Kind of. Just because of the mission itself. Those battle tactics. Next, we're on to the third battle round. We're going to do a prior to roll. The Geomantic Pulse jumps to here now. So this one's worth Ooh. two. These ones are worth one. And then this one's technically also worth one. <laughs> yes. I think because of the speed of murder. Uh, did you kill a rat ogre over there? I did. Oh, you might run on a six. That's right. No. No. One, you're good. No running there. I am going to... Two. 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 Oh, okay. Well, you, you get to pick. I will pick... I could pick you and speed of murder in a combat. I'm just going to pick me and not worry about it. Yep. So we're in a pretty spot here for core and red. Eight bullet tithe points, current score, seven to six. And because no general, down to two command points. Because Josh is going second, he gets an extra command point on yeah. one of the heroes. The battle tactic I'll go for will be to intimidate the invaders. And that's to have more of my stuff outside of my territory than inside of my territory. This guy feels like ascending the Tower of Power. <laughs> and it is He's just... too sweet to be sour. <laughs> <laughs> he is going to incorporate his <laughs> finest hour. What would you like to do? Uh, this guy is going to squeak. Oh, yes. Here comes the one. Oh, oh two. Okay. We Very haven't good. gotten Very one. Good. Not one this game. Couple of prayers. He's going to bronze his flesh. He failed. I'm pretty sure he fails. I'll double check. This guy's going to keep it nice and easy before you, before you heal. I'm going to blood boil. No, my blood. I hate, I hate these prayers. Bronze flesh works because it's on a three, but blood boil is on a four. I didn't want to do blood sacrifice or bless or anything because I'm already at eight, eight blood tithe points. So with that in mind, I believe you can go ahead and heal. Okay. You can't just beat a murderer and just kill him? Uh, I have to, to fight at the end of my hero phase. Oh, so I get to heal it either, yes. either way. Yes. Two, okay, one. one. I'm sorry, oh. he's at five oh. left. Oh. That's, his, that's his specific molder upgrade is he heals every player's hero phase instead of his own. Yep. His regeneration. Oh, I'm good to go to movement. I'm not going to use any of my blood tithe in the hero phase. I'm going to summon blood letters at the end of my movement phase. We go right to movement. Bloodthirster is obviously going to go be aggressive and try and fight over here with his 12-inch move. Maybe get another lucky. Oh, everyone takes more wounds. Oh, no. I'm just going to ignore them. They yeah, because they back. can still come back. Yep. And the They're the kind of just hanging in the wind there, so it doesn't really matter. The objective is already under my control, so I can leave it with no worries because it won't uh, trigger a redeploy from them. Yep. So I'll give up that one extra objective, but I think it's worth the... Oh, uh, uh, you can summon the blood letters over there, right? I could. I'm going to move away from it. That's one point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just yeah, have 20 yeah, blood yeah. letters like right there or something. Fly over there. Yeah, Ratsworth here is going to redeploy. That was a drop die. I wish I got the five. Oh, he's got gonna six, go, oh, he's go six. Ah, does squeak. He to, does he want to use his like, squeak, squeak, squeak. one? Yeah, because he yeah, does it well. for free anyways. Bye-bye, little squeak, rat. Squeak, squeak, squeak. He's going to get away from the eight-inch carnage range as much as possible. Joke's on you. I'll charge something else and just roll two sixes no, I know. I'm just rolling here and get him anyways. It doesn't matter. <laughs> After our bloodthirster moves, blood letters move up. He actually moves five, not four. And I forgot I had a cannon, so I moved it up its eight as well. We're good to go to the shooting phase. Oh, Imagine I some... there's blood letters here. I know. 20 blood letters. Bam, right there. Did you get 20 of them? Yeah. Next oh, jeez. Seven blood tide points. I'll go down to one. No, this is a blood master marker to represent 20 blood letters <laughs> that are effectively right here yes, to save please, us time. I'm please, just gonna please don't take half an hour to put those down. It looks like uh, by the end of my turn here, if all goes well, there won't be many rats left on the battlefield. Brother, but it's more it to really have to go well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't think so. At least uh, that will hopefully reinforce that objective. Then we can go to shooting. I'm gonna go shoot my cannonballs into their face. Because we hate their face. Oh, uh, just a whole a whole defense. Yep. Oh, no, no, nobody's in range to give it to him. Oh, oh this guy on the end can't be told to be defensive. <laughs> I hit three times, four times. That's mm. a three as well. And I wound three times. Rend of oh. two. Oh no! You should have six ups. Bop, bop, bop. Hey, two of them. Sure. I will pump that one rat ogre full of skull. Boom. Is it two damage? Just one wound. Just one wound. It's D three per. Oh, it's D three per. Yeah. It's four oh, okay. shots. Rend two D three. It's a weird gun. Charging. Same guy charging, five. I will work. Hey, boom. And let's go with Bloodthirster of Insensate Rage, four, good enough. Up the backside there, just gonna swing in big. And then we got a couple characters here who can charge, Blood Secretor. Uh, fails, actually. Take that, nerd. I'll just forward a victory, I guess, for a command point. I'll go six. I'm just gonna have him go three somewhere out of here. And the Slaughter Priest will go nine. Let's have him go. Titanic duel, the big guy. 
Oh, I'll Titanic duel you right back there, <laughs> bud. Awesome. I will fight first with the guy who strikes first. I'm going to do... I don't want to charge. I don't see the hypothetical. They would have failed. Yes. You get plus one. Cool. Here, I'm going to pile in. Yeah, pile in. We get that butt in there. Whoosh. Thank you. Something like that. And then all attacks into that guy. And the big guy. You want to all of defense him? No. All right. Threes to hit because of uh, Titanic duel. Twos to wound. I need uh, sixes. No sixes. Oh, okay. Sure. No explosive mortal wounds. Uh, I think he just dies. Uh, With the rend? Two. Yeah. yeah. So he, he dies. And then does he come back? Yes. Oh. With D6 wounds. One. One. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Everything hurts. Uh, and then I get to fight with a unit. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I'm going to go with a Wrathmonger. Oh, no. He, he died. His planet needs him. <laughs> okay, you win, Luca. Hey, I did it. I did the thing. Look at that. Fight first. All the time on a demon. I did not I did not even know that relic existed. That's a crazy... I always is, see some... Is, is that not the auto-include on... I see... I, I, I'm throwing I, dice. I have no idea. I see a lot of people run the no ward saves. I pretty much only play mortals. But back in the last edition of the Blades of Corn book, I like to run a list very similar to this. But I figured... Uh, I never really liked the demon part of it, but I wanted to see if this kind of build still works. And it's not... The always fight first on that guy is kind of nasty. No, I mean, obviously you can shoot him to death, but he's got a fight up a board against shoot There's him, a little part of me that hopes somebody points in the comment section you're not allowed to do that. Uh, like somewhere uh, like in the rules or something? like, uh, yeah, dummy, that's a... Uh... I says Corn Demon Hero. <laughs> I'll admit, like I walked over the book and pretended to look, but I didn't actually. Oh, so. okay. Yeah, it's um. a demon. That's the uh, the other auto pick. I would say is the uh, no ward saves within three. It's all situational. That one's really powerful too, though. If, if you guys didn't catch it, I tapped out, so we're gonna do a post game. Yeah, we're gonna post game now. Ain't available with this game you just watched. You better believe we have more Age of Sigmar content to go along with it in our vault, available to our YouTube and Vault members. This one in particular will be between Josh and Luca playing the Daughters of Cain and the Caradron Overlord at 2,000 points. Now, if you're not a member and you want to check out this battle report, all you have to do is click on the link down below to sign up for a seven-day free trial to check it out as well as the rest of the content we have in the vault and then decide to stick around after those seven days. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all next time very soon. Okay, well, welcome to the post game. Josh wanted to go find water. <laughs> I, I couldn't find any, so yeah, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'll just I'll just deal with it. Let's we'll get through this. Uh, um, well, welcome to the post game. This was a... I guess we expected the game to go this way. I actually thought you were gonna win uh, with the way... I lost. The, I lost my. I was too flippant with my blood warriors. I, I kind of again forgot what your Ren three. They're. Wow. I know. I it's know. all you talked about I don't last know. time. I don't it's, know, dude. Since we played, it's all I've heard you talk about. Because I made you wandered pretty... around to everybody like, do you know anything with Ren three and Age of Sigmar? I know. I know. I was. I was like. Well, I was impressed. Like I like everything about the list. That was the one thing I'm like. Oh, that's really strong. Like, yep. it's not unwarranted. I don't think so. They're. It's not like it's not crazy crazy. Like it's. It's good. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's just rare. And I, was, it's, it's, I was surprised to see it mostly because yeah. not nothing has it naturally. Yeah. Ah, I shouldn't say that. There's a lot of things in Sigmar. I know things can have it with enhancements. There's yeah. there's not really a lot of units that just have it on their on their war scroll. Yep. And it was it was evident here today because you walked through my blood warriors with both of them. Yep. Uh, and it, well, the one I can't remember exactly the reasoning of it, but I had a unit of blood warriors over here that charged in. To the one help and i meant to attack with them so he i had him in combat bam and then i attacked with something else i'm like oh crap brain fart i meant to fight with them granted i didn't really i think you attacked with something meaningful it was still meaningful but i feel like they would oh was been... it the blood no i, I went no. to fight oh it was i think it was the wrath no it was something fighting did you swing with your wrath mongers over there to kill uh help it i was trying to kill two no. units of think it was one of the wrathmonger units fighting the rat ogres i know that because i'm like it was these guys like i'm down to two and i kind of i didn't whiff but i didn't do as much damage as i thought i was going to do i forgot how much wounds rat ogres have i got them down to one with five wounds and the other guy with full wounds the yep. only and i wanted because i knew I, I was pretty confident i was going to kill the first unit here that eventually came back and i wanted to kill the second unit so you couldn't use the command ability again gotcha and i got lucky with the one character who did 10 damage to take him out. That's what happened. So in the end, it kind of still worked out, but I lost my Blood Warriors for it. But you gotta like, you gotta take hits here and there. But luckily, my favorite thing about Corn is when something dies, you're still kind of rewarded for it anyways. Yep. And when they die, they do a lot, they do some mortal wounds when they go down too. Yeah. No, looking at it, like you had some, you had some good tech you could make use of. Yeah. Oh, this, uh, this Blades of Corn. Because if not, I would have been able to get that, I would have been up by one, then 
you still would have won the priority and beat me, but yeah, I would well, have been in it a little bit more. With the, with the speed of murder nerf, uh, I do like that nerf. Uh, I think in a lot of ways it was it should have never been one blood tithe point for three units. Now it's one to three blood tithe points for one to three units. Yep. So you can still do three units, it just costs three times the, the amount. It's yep. very probably the easily the most powerful reward on the table is the first one. Right, yeah. and so we were kind of talking about it, and this is like, this is entirely intentional. It's not like an actual grumble or anything like that. Because you basically got the full tech of your book. Yes. Um, and I'm like specifically focusing on Molder right now, and I'll grow yep. this army into other stuff uh, eventually. But the, the focus was on having a really cool Molder army. I, I actually find that army book, there's two things. I'm very glad they kept Skaven in one book. I like that a lot, but I find it to be an enigma of a book too, because it doesn't, it's like, that's how Skaven played in fantasy, because you had all the tech and everything for fantasy. Like you could like have these guys for this, uh, like slaves for this, clan rats for this, yep. rat ogres for like a hard flank thing. You had the scryer for your like war machines and stuff. Yep. But does that translate well to Sigmar? Well, I don't this, know. So this book lets you mix the clans way easier 100%. than the previous book does. So that's yes. good. So I, I'm more capable of doing it, but I don't know. This was like a really cool army concept in my mind as far as models, which I'm, I tend to be model first in the armies that I built. Right. Um, and I play the heck out of them that way. And then I start to kind of look for other things to add in. Yeah. Right, so exactly. I, I like this configuration overall. Um, I've got some giant rat bases coming in eventually. Or sorry, not giant rat. I've got Swarms. the rat swarm yes. bases coming I'm in. I'm surprised those are even still an option. Yeah. Yeah. That's a molder thing, I guess. Packs. Yeah. Yep. Should be. Um, so there's, I do have those, and I have got some more giant rats coming, even though giant rats we've laughed at are kind of, they, they, they fit a specific role. They They're, don't, they in most ways don't compare favorably to clan rats. But they are a cheaper option if you only have the 60 points. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's a, all they have going for them. Yep. <laughs> they take up a small little footprint. That's it. Less wound, they cost way more than a clan rat does on a per model basis, but yes. clan rats are locked at 100 points, whereas these guys are 60. Are so. 60, yeah. and yeah, so then they, they do, they could take some buffs, but they're not often going to. No, they're not gonna, that'd be a waste. I think. So, no, there's some there's some fun little things, but yeah, they just die to a stiff breeze. Yeah. Uh, this army, I don't know, it, it's, I'm, I'm pretty happy. So talking about um, different command traits, Obviously, the one that I keep going with, Molder Supreme, seems to be kind of what you want to do. That's a huge utility piece. Um, but there is one that's the Cunning Mutator. So, if he's within three of another friendly clan Molder unit, before you allocate a wound or mortal wound, instead of making a ward roll or mortal wound, blah, 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 uh, on a three of that wound or mortal wounds allocated to the unit instead of him. Yeah, okay. So, okay, cool. I thought there was like a bodyguard rule in Skaven already. Uh, it's, they have lookouts are in combat as well. That's what, I want. That's what I'm thinking of, yeah. But you're not really counting on that with this because yeah. of like model or unit size and stuff. So the other one is Horde Master. And it basically their command ability when, where something dies, you get it back on a three up. Mm -hmm. That is also a Warlord trait you can take. That It's not a command to do, it's just a once per game you do it on a three up. Oh, still a roll though, eh? Interesting. It's still a roll. So I think Molder Supreme is kind of my go-to if I'm running this. I'd be very curious on people's options for other generals for this force. Mm -hmm. Well, I like the I like a Gray Seer or like a Vermin Lord could be kind of cool. Both of them, and yeah. well, De Death Frenzy's big, right? Yeah, Death Frenzy's really big for the Rat Ogres. Is that okay? Is that just an extra attack, or is it when they fight no, when death, death, fight when die? That's fun on death. Uh, yeah. Yes, that is like I think kind of like one of the final pieces to the puzzle yep. in a lot of ways. Uh, it helps a lot because then you can just whip, gnaw hole, go, do as much damage as you can, die, do that damage again, and pray that you the rat, the, uh, the three horn rat yep. that you get the three yeah. uh it's kind of like i it's good but it feels a little bit like a gimmick so i don't want to rely like i knew i wasn't going to do that right off the hop yeah so uh the one uh master molder that you just blew up right away he's on a bigger base so i could use him as a grace here just in case comfortably yeah. enough yeah yeah um and i know there's gonna be somebody that you know i'm um, actually is and tells me that the master molders on the wrong base i gotta double check at the main sizes and all of this to be honest well, for the um, for the most part, I like your I like the build as is, like with or without the gracier. I think the gracier would be a nice touch, but my 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 question would be from earlier: Would you like technically become weaker by adding other clans to it? Do their utility add enough to the list? Because I think the list is already pretty good. The idea, the philosophy. So of the list all is it would be. So right now I have twenty. Grand is a little gimmicky. Yeah, sure. twenty points Fine. floating. And if I want to get a, I'm pretty sure I'd have to double check, but I want to say the graciers are 120. Right. And the master molders are 90. So I'd have to drop a master molder and the unit of giant rats. To get the gracier. To get a gracier in. And then have a couple weird floating points I can't do anything with. Would it be like enough for an endless spell? 
probably. Actually, Maybe. yeah, so yeah. Would. I just don't know which ones it would be. Because that would be, uh, let me think, I'm giving up, uh, that's 110 points, and then 150. Uh, so yeah, there's like a 30, I'm sure there's 30 point spells. Like there's a 20 and there's I think I did my yeah. math right, but I might be doing it wrong. Yeah. Um, so there's, yeah, there's a couple different options there. Um, that would be worth checking out. But, um, yeah, I can't really think if there's, because there's also the um, uh, Vermin Lords that I haven't looked into yeah. well enough, because there isn't a Molder one, right? That's like, yeah. There's, there's one for everybody else. But there's Molder, a Molder yeah, there's a Scryer one, a Verminous one, a Pestilence one. Is there a Nation one? Uh, there's a Nation one. There's yeah. a big giant sneak rat. The and then there's the, one, yeah. there's yeah, the, the big wizard one, right? Yeah. And then there's uh, the named character there's one. The there's the Warbringer one. There's the War one. The Verminous. The Verminous one, yeah. 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 So there's a bunch of different options there. And the same with the artifacts, because I could probably tweak the list to get different artifacts in. Yeah. But the Rabid Crown for the plus one to hit an aura for fighting beasts and Molder pack units wholly within 13. It's uh, pretty much the all Molder stuff, right? Uh, that one I think covers pretty much, except for the characters. Oh, they don't count, okay. Right. Uh, but I could Foul Hide, which is the other thing that the fat guy could be used to represent if I really wanted to. Oh, that's the um, 10 wound guy? The, he's 10 wounds and I heal one wound at the, every one of my hero phases. Sure. It's kind of <laughs> cute, but eh. <laughs> It depends on, like, what would you be, I guess it depends on what you're using him for, really. Yeah, well, that's just the guy that stays alive. So there was some thought about taking the Molder Supreme and foul hide together. So he's got 10 wounds and he's just that tougher to take down, but he's still only 10 wounds. Could you take a, uh, is there any way you could get a... And he doesn't get the lookout sir anymore because he's too fat. Oh, he's too large. Because he's 10 wounds yeah. now, right? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, okay, usually you won't have people able to like finagle small characters like that, especially with lookout sir. That was a extreme example of one of the... Oh, there are, but, uh, I guess... Give me my gnaw holes back. Get back here, Scary. Damn vote for Scary. Can we get a, how, like, how much, how, like, how useful are those knot holes in this game? Um, like, I didn't make full use of them here, but we talked about, like, the, <laughs> the strategy mission, with the, yeah. well, the, yeah, the mission, and then the, the hope is to kind of force you to stay around them with a little bit, and just, like, try to nuke you as much as I can, and then yeah. start sending guys around, but then my guys blew up. Yeah. So, um. Yeah, that's fair, I didn't expect I don't that. think that's going to happen often. Nope. Nope, that probably uh, shouldn't happen often. So that's, even with that build, I don't think there's much else in the game that would do something similar to that. But there's always... There's, uh, it's it's kind of rife with a lot of weird things, that's for sure, but... The other artifact I could go with, and this is the, the Molder ones, is this lad here. Um, there is a Lash of Fangs. Uh, oh, that's a snake So guy. pick one of the bear's melee weapons and unmodified hit rolls that are six do D3 mortal wounds in addition to damage. It's kind of cute. Bad. I don't think you're ever going to use that over, like, the crown or even foul hide. Yeah. But it's kind of funny. I mean, you could, like, you could try and do a warlord instead of, like, the uh, battle regiment, and then you can get the foul hide and the crown on two different guys. Yeah. Um, but looking at, so drops. one of the other things here is you can go Skaven Brew, if I've got a Master Clan hero. Oh, Gracier. So, yeah. yeah, Gracier, and then he takes the Master, he takes, sorry, the Skaven Brew, and then they get plus one to their attacks. Attack characteristic. Yeah, is there is there any downside to it? I can't remember. Um, the unit suffers D three mortal wounds, but then I add one to the attack characteristic of it. Yeah, boo! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! No! I'm gonna try to build a list that goes first, and I'm gonna just throw these things through a knot hole to go die anyways. Like, yeah, I guess that's the whole point of the battle regimen. You just want to try and go first and just go down someone's throat with like some four strong rat ogre unit. Yeah. Well, and I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, here's here's 25 attacks. Uh, yeah. Good luck. Yeah. There are two. <clears throat> Well, I'll be hitting on threes at that point because I won't be in my aura range, but I should be wounding because I you still have the whip. So yeah. it's threes into twos. Yeah, with one extra, it's five Sixes attacks explode. per. Yeah. You're gonna get like one six per guy, pretty close to average that time. So it's you know counteracting your ones, some of your ones. Yeah, it's wor it's definitely worth it because they'll they'll trade up. There's yeah, and it takes a lot to kill that unit. That is still a. 24 wound unit with a four of save. Yep. Well, and again, like I don't want to run into a situation where I'm like, well, this is the list build and I'm eventually going to add more, but this is my main gimmick. And, oh, uh, you don't fully know how it works and you didn't fully block it. I guess you're going to lose top of turn one. Cause I hate I, that. I pulled, yeah, yeah. It, that's... It's 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 funny, but it's not what I'm trying to accomplish with this. It's like right? uh, back in the day, it's like noob stomping. It's kind of like just punishing new players, kind of. Yeah, I'm not yeah. playing War Machine, so yeah, it's okay. exactly. Yeah, uh, we don't we don't have to gatekeep like War Machine. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, because that 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 worked out so well for that community, right? <laughs> I'm technically um, one of the victims of that. Yeah, I stopped I, I stopped I stopped playing because the guy just wouldn't like stop one tapping me on the first turn. 
Yeah, well, I mean, like, that, he gave you the War Machine experience. Yeah, that's true. And I know not everybody was like that. I'm, I'm no, I know, I know. That's, thing, like, that's, like, the general joke. Now that I'm, like, deeper <clears> in the wargaming hobby these years, uh, that was, a, that was like, probably 10 years ago, by the way, if anyone's curious. Well, that ten, was... 10 plus years ago, yeah. That was a conversation, because I remember teaching people War Machine, and I'm like, I can show you the basics, and if we're going to play, mm. here's what's going to happen, is I'm going to show you... I'll, I'll teach you what you did wrong and how you get killed every time, and I'll show you you getting killed every time. If I let you win, you're not going to learn anything. Yeah. And that's, I will be doing you a disservice to then put you out into the community and go, okay, little Billy, like, you're you're going to be okay. You're going to have fun with what I gave you. Yeah, good luck out there. Like, man. no, you should go out knowing you're probably going to lose if somebody's more experienced than you. Yeah. But learn from the experience. Yeah. It was one of those, uh, I remember it was... I think your guy was just like, "Hey, you want to lose a bunch?" Like, well, I, I don't think I, he gave you the heads up that was going to happen. I well, he he gave me that he gave me the usual rundown. It's like, how do you want to play this? Like this or like this? I'm like, well, show me the basics. Let me do like one turn of the basic stuff, and then show me what a game looks like. And then he wasn't able to dial it back after that second yeah. game. Yeah, he's like, okay, okay, I'll like I'll make a a different list and like we'll play a game from there and I won't use my usual synergies but still like the experience that game is all about experience and memory and experience there was, there was, a, there was a, a high portion of that yeah, yeah. so like he's, it's not, like I get it it's hard to dial it back sometimes I've been there I'll like oh, yeah. I'll be playing in someone I just taught like five games ago and I remember one game it was like I was playing Ragnar in 8th edition for Space Wolves and I'm like oh he's got this one cool ability if I use the strat and do this I'm like I got 30 attacks with him I'm like oh I probably shouldn't have done that yeah happens right yeah I've done that sometimes with teaching people MCP Oh no! <laughs> and then like, but then they like they they figure because the game that game's you know got a lot of cool stuff going on too, and then they figure things out and they come back and just beat me up really bad. Because <laughs> I think there was one guy after, um, like I was like I wasn't trying to like make sure he didn't have fun, but like I was trying to win because he was an experienced gamer and he knew what he was doing. Um, but yeah, so we we were playing and uh, I made kind of a boo boo and he ended up beating me pretty bad, and I don't think he fully like. It was my mistake, and he's like, oh, yeah, I was kind of anxious at first, but, you know, thanks for taking it easy a little bit on me there, turn two or whatever. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yes, no that, problem. that was intentional. <laughs> yeah, no problem anytime. But <laughs> yeah, 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 it was great fun. I didn't want you to not have fun. I know. It's oh, I guess it's painful to, like, uh, realize the mistake you made and the cost, the, the, what it cost you, yeah. But, yeah, going back to talk about, because um, those games set up and played faster, this doesn't set up and play super fast, so that's not yes, the experience. That's Especially when we have guests so coming to play. Correct. Like, I don't want to be like, well... I learned to be a, a jerk, and now I'm gonna try to be nice. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Like MCP is a great game. To like that's like a 30 minute game, right? And like a lot happens in that game too. Yeah, you can play and it like, quick once you get used to it. Yeah. So yeah, like I, I'm gonna continue to to build this army up, but I'm curious, um, you know, people's feedback on different stuff. Because also, I mean, like the hell pits are all kind of like weirdly unique, so it's easy to have one of those represent a uh, vermin lord. I think it's the same base size. Again, I gotta double check. I probably. It's probably, probably pretty close is. to it. I'm not 100 percent sure. I don't think they're on the night bases. Ah, oh, they might. Be. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. Is that might even be? That's not the night base. But uh, I was like, I was curious. Like, would there be any merit in doing like three hell pits and like a bunch of clan rats to stand on objectives or maybe, maybe. A unit of rat I don't ogres. really. I'm not one war lightning gun. I'll, I'll get it know. eventually. I'm not super keen on like. like yeah. Okay, here's my. If they had 300 three, clan yeah. rats to move, that's not this really is, your style. Is, no, it's not. Like, would um, you ever put, like, more lightning cannons in there? Is there any merit in that? Or is it just kind of, like, makes more sense to go, like, go full beast and descend? Um, to get, to, to dabble and describe a little bit, because we talked about the, Storm um, right. They don't have the keywords you're really looking for. To they get, got Molder, The benefits of any of this. They got yeah. Clan Molder, but they're not a, I don't think they're, unless they've changed it. I don't think they're a pack unit. They're not a fighting beast or anything like that. No, nah, they interact way better with Scryer. Oh, 100%. They yeah, do. like they're like they're definitely made for Scryer. So that might be where you know maybe I eventually add like a Scryer contingent onto this, like an Arch Warlock and some Storm Fiends uh, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe like you said the cannons. Maybe there's yeah. Maclites running around throwing, you know, smell bombs at people. And like a Molder Scryer kind of hybrid. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe there's there's it. potential for it, but I'm I'm enjoying this quite a lot because there's oh, obviously I got to get better with it, but it, it, it's a very go hit your opponent. Yeah. Um, it absolutely is. Yeah. But then again, you know, like my stuff will just die, so I got to be smart with my trades and trying to force my opponent into making tough decisions and killing my units in a certain way. Going like, oh, like I could kill this hell pit, but like this one hasn't come back yet, and that one over there has. So yeah, that one's got more wounds, but if I kill it, I know it's actually going to die. That's the that's the weird element of it. I think that's where a lot that's where the variety of games are going to come in because like this is almost a complete opposite game of the one we played before. And granted, lots of things died here. But that like your help, it didn't. You, they all came back once, essentially. Like everyone I killed yep. came back, and it was like, oh man, this is tough. Well, this one, yeah. the case, you had one came back, and then you were 
able to stab him again. I was stab him with another unit, yeah. yeah. A one wound off, because again, he would have just rolled over on that unit and yeah. killed him. It's so much damage. Even with um, one wound, they do so much damage. I have no save, five up save. With like, what, 12 wounds or something? 13 wounds? Maybe 14. What, they're them? The help it, yeah. The help it's got 14 wounds, 14. five up safe. Like, that's so soft. And so, like, okay, so to give you an idea of like when they get wounded down, they, um, their teeth get worse rend. Yeah, that goes down. Um, and then the amount of attacks with the fists goes down to, it starts at six and it goes down to a minimum of three. And those are three damage attacks? Those are the rend three one. damage attacks. Yeah. Rend one. Threes and threes minus one three. That stays the same, just the amount drops. The and then my avalanche thing. of flesh goes down to being a uh, five of at worst. That ability is nuts. The avalanche. I do not want to play death into that army. Just because <sighs> right. you just roll down units to zombies, no problem. Charge in 15, 20 mortal wounds. Oh, yeah. Do a ton yeah. of mortal wounds and then just slap you around. And Yeah. I have to, like, get the... Against that, yeah, it's, really, it's like uh, there's a few armies that do that. Nurgle can do it. Like, sorry, Death Guard can not Death Guard. Maggie can do it yep. with like the one psychic power, magical power. My gosh, and like a few. So you have to be very careful on how you place your models when you move them around, because like you expect to be charged, but you want to be like max coherence. There's also like the weird annoyingness of them of like not knowing how far they're gonna move. I know, I know. So like I went with the standard like I'm just gonna screen my stuff and go forward, but I almost got like. It almost bit me in the butt pretty bad. Like this unit here, just 22 inch move right away. Hilarious. And then the hell pits do their random moves as well. Luckily the hell pits didn't get like too far into me, but yeah. they still did a lot of damage. Well, cause those guys are just rolled crazy high on the charge, right? Yeah, so seven guys. inch move and then. Plus three on the whip, right? Yeah. yeah. It is, this is an army that just sits all over the place, especially when you have missions that want you to utilize the knot holes, like an objective over here, objective over here, or just you have to get to like the middle of my territory. It's like, okay, well I'm gonna whip, move, charge this far and get in essentially. Yep. It's nuts. Yeah, I, so it's very easy for me to put the, the knot holes back over here to make it really tough for you to get to them so then yeah. I can pop a eh, charge. Yeah, like even keeping like one, like an aggressive one and like a more passive one to like I hit a flank with. to a degree, but this one could have been further back. Yeah. But I then guess again, you I, was, I, I, did, yeah. I did fairly aggressive because I wanted you to, because I knew you wanted to use your blood war, or sorry, your reavers to screen. Yeah. And I'm like, he's not going to want to leave expensive units back to babysit. So. Yeah. Once I blow through those screens, try to make the, t the choices a little bit tougher. <laughs> and boy, did you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it, I mean, it worked out It worked out fairly well. Um, I could have went first. It didn't feel right to go first. I wanted to threaten a potential double turn on turn one to two. Yeah. Because it's one of those armies that I'll probably be able to benefit from it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the army is not reliant on that to win. I think you probably would have won if you won that priority roll. Well, because you turn. were fairly aggressive turn one. Yeah, exactly. So that, that's the thing, forcing my opponent to go first. And they're like, okay, well, I can move up, um, but he's threatening a uh, double turn. And if he double turns me, like he's going to get to me and destroy me. So mm -hmm. if I hold back, you know, then you're giving up board position and board control and everything else. So. I, which I don't typically like. I'd rather go forward and hopefully you have better odds to win the roll off in priority with turn one anyway. So if you lose it, it's just the blocks. I always just blame it. Oh, bad luck next time, maybe if I lose to that. Because I yep. always, you always, you, in my opinion, you almost always lose if you hold back and just let the opponent control the board. Because that's all the game is about controlling the board. board. Like, sure, killing each other is important, but like, if you're not scoring points, nothing you do matters. Yeah. Technically. So I better to, because this army is actually not that fast. Most things move five. Six on some things, but there's no running and charging. There's no shenanigans. It's a pretty generic army. They got the speed of murder, but uh, that's really random and kind of inconsistent and more of a utility to tie up enemies. Now, granted, this army's pretty good. I like to play this army aggressively because it's good against double turns because you just speed a murder in the combat. Yep. Now, the thing that worried me is I didn't get my blood tithe point on my blood sacrifice. Usually, a blood sacrifice turn one goes super aggressive, then I can speed a murder into a nasty preventative double turn or something like that but i guess double turn i lost the model so i, I had the blood tide points for it anyways but that's the utility of corn it's a weirdly utility based melee army everything they do is kind of utility yeah. yeah so i gotta unlock a little bit more potential in the skaven book but there's this is the definite flavor that i want to go with yeah i'm thinking more and more because like the the radogers do a ton oh yeah they do but they are currently being with my army build well overshadowed by the hell pits I didn't expect that. I figured so the Rat Ogres aren't doing like, they're sure they're beating up Reavers, but they're having a hard time getting through like three up armor save guys. Well, it's only red yeah. one, so they, I mean, that's a given. But they, I mean, for what they are, they still do a ton of damage. They the still shooting like is very weirdly. The shooting is weirdly, yeah. yeah. Uh, starts to put some hurt out. But it's just, 
Uh, yeah, it's not comparing to those Telpits going in and just wrecking So face. much damage on I them. keep looking at the War Scrolls being like, I'm probably doing something wrong, but not that I found. Nah, they're, that's, that's where I slipped. I, I, again, it didn't mount to too much, but I'm like, I should have killed that Hellpit. I keep forgetting how much damage they can do. Ten Blood Warriors going down? Like, that kind of makes me nervous. Yeah. 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 Because they're not that cheap. They're actually more expensive than the help it is. Just 10, 190 points or 10. Yeah, and he just kind of rolls over on He's them. And... Like, no problem. Like, not even a chance. Like, no, like, they lose half their wounds on the flesh, and then the rest are cleaned up by the melee attacks. Yep. That's nasty. Not to mention anything, like, if I had even more models, right? Or if I was a smaller base. Yeah. That tight in. No, oh, thank you. So if you had another, like, monstery army, then the that's not as effective. Uh, that's true, yeah. Um, I don't know. I'd, I'd be curious to see how these guys play into Giants. Just get, I mean, like, imagine the giants trying to pick them up. They're all like kind of fleshy and yeah, like, like corpulent. Ooh, yeah, just kind of like fold too over the hands. For it to work anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's gross. Yeah. I'd be, okay. Well, I mean, I, I, I find the giants kind of weird. I don't even know how they play in general, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, they do, there are a lot of damage, but there's a lot of wounds to chew through. Do you find like giants do better against big things or regular armies or it I doesn't don't matter? Because I haven't played like pure giants a ton. That's right. Oh, yeah, I've that's kind right. of done a couple different uh, builds. And then like the, the Studio Giant collection is weirdly limited yeah it's one of we everything. still don't have one well, no we don't even have one of everything oh yet. the new beast guy yeah the and king it, other build yeah the king of the giants and it's not like i have like six man eaters or anything like that or only nine three, to run them yeah. so i've only got the three so I, i'm very limited in what i can do with them it's always so the that's build. probably yeah. i don't know when some of the painters are available i should talk to them yeah. What, what would you add to it? Just like the uh, the new Beast Smasher yeah. and another Gatebreaker probably would be the two. And yeah. then another three um, guard, uh, giant guys. Yeah, the man eaters. Okay. Because that Just, would give me some ability to play around a little bit more. True. All right. That's not fair. That's reasonable. Is that it? I think that's it. That's yeah. it. We'll, you, got, you got anything else? No, it's, uh, I like the corn list a lot. It played exactly like it used to in second edition. Um, though the Bloodthirster is 1000% better than it used to be because of that artifact. That's crazy. I'm not saying you won because you rolled three sixes. I, I'm going to say I won because I won. Did I, win, did I do anything smart Honestly, I think in this the, game? The biggest no, thing rolled... was you rolled that perfectly flat dice. Yeah. Yes, it was. It was uh, perfectly flat to win priority. <laughs> Absolutely. No, it was. It was. We're just laughing. <laughs> it was good. It was good enough. Oh, I'm, yeah, for sure. I, would, uh, I, was, I wouldn't have thought to say anything about it, but you did. So that's where I'm like, I'm going to lean into it because. I think I would have been at my wit's end with Sigmar if I lost another game to an aggressive army to a double turn. Yeah. I would have been like, I can't do it. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm done, done, I'm done. I'm yeah. done with this game for like a little bit. I'm gonna chill and relax. Uh, but I've, I've, I would have uh, remembered I had Speed of Murder, so it wouldn't have been too, too, too bad. Yep. So I always have, like, that's the nice thing about Korn. That's, they're one of my favorite armies to play. I kind of put them on the back burner for a bit for literally no reason at all. I just kind of forgot they existed. Other books were coming out, other FAQs and errata changing other books. I'm like, oh, I want to show that off, or I want to try this yep. off. We played that big campaign for a while, which, you know, trying to play more narrative-based armies, and uh, I, I was like, the content producers were forced they to play. They would have loved this and that. Oh, the Molder army? And yeah. Anybody, anybody's attacking Chaos anywhere? Like, oh, okay, let me go get a dumb army. Here's the, yeah, the, with the very narrative Molder army, right? Yeah. That's the nice thing about it. But yeah, it played perfectly well. Uh, I would love to play it again. I will play it again. I will save it in my phone as a list I really like for corn. Let me know how you feel it down uh, below. Uh, if I did the Gortai thing wrong, it's plus one moon against objectives you didn't control. I, that turn I charge in, Josh controlled both these objectives, so I'm pretty sure I was good on that. Uh, maybe I forgot something here and there, but uh, for the most part, he does seem like suspiciously strong. I'm not, I'm a little iffy on him. I'm curious if I did something incorrect. He just always gets the fight's first rule. It's a demon artifact. I don't know. <laughs> maybe you just surround him with a bunch of stuff and you can only kill so much. Well, you just shoot him. I mean, oh, you shoot that, him, yeah. But, like, there's that, yeah. There's not. Boo, yeah. That, whatever, that's a boo part of Sigma. Great. Boo, yeah, boo, like you boo. show up to a table and you're like, oh, this is going to be so much fun and KO. Yeah, KO and like... Try and make it as little interaction as possible, right? Yeah. yeah. Stupid dwarves. Anyways, that's it for this one, folks. Happy Wargaming. Stay tuned for more to come.